my buddy that I went to the Philippines with uh, got his PhD in theology. And so when I was going to seminary, I would call him frequently. Hey, Paul, <laughs> what, did, what did you research in this area? Paul's uncle was Orthodox priest. Paul. But um, so Paul had all this really wonderful insight into Orthodoxy. And I was doing this research on salvation. I was writing a 20 page paper. And he gave me this quote. I said, wait, 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 I was walking. And I said, wait, 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 I got to run in the house and I got to write this down. And um, what he said was, it's a healing. Salvation is the process of awakening to the oneness. In Eastern Orthodoxy, salvation re refers to the totality of Christian experience from the ancient times. There are three levels of a Christian's development in salvation. These are one, purification, which is largely the process of repentance or a conversion. And that seems like that's kind of where a lot of the Western churches, you know, the non-denominationals are like, all you got to do is just, you know, repent, surrender, and ask Jesus to be your Lord and Savior. So that's one. A little different here. Two is illumination, which refers to the possession of the knowledge of God experientially at which one is able to teach someone else. In essence, you can impart to others out of your own experience. So it's the initial awakening, and then you share from your experience, which is much more powerful. Like you see a lot of Christians sharing their personal testimony, which is very powerful because they're living proof of a transformed life, that it, life is different than it used to be. So when people share of their story, it's very, very powerful. Okay. So that's the second one. Third is glorification or deification, sometimes referred to as theosis. This is enlightenment. This is non-duality, okay? Individuals who have advanced to this level are quite rare, and outsiders would consider these individuals mystical orthodox or not recognize them as saintly altogether. It is union with God, oneness. Reverend Dr. Paul Dumas.